Welcome back again guys to my channel. Today we have a brand new Springer unboxing. Once again, I bought this from Shopee at a price of 528 pesos. First of all, very good packaging from the seller. So this is an assault rifle, a bullpup gun. This is the QBZ-95, a replica Springer. It's based from the Chinese gun Type 95, manufactured by the company Norinco. So the letters QBZ stands for Light Weapon, Ching Wu Chi, Rifle, Bu Chang, and Automatic, Zhidong, hence QBZ. It's a very popular gun in games like PUBG. And these are the contents of our package. It includes the main gun, its magazine, a silencer, a sling, and some free BBs. Let's take a look here at what this Springer would be like. First, we have the sling mounts for the sling in the front and in the back. As you can see, the design is very good as it has all the parts that the real one has. The safety switch is located behind the magazine. Up is to fire and down is to safe. And it also has the symbols for each. And we have the magazine, so it's the same as most springers. It has a compartment to just fill with BBs and just pull down the slide to fill the BBs to the magazine. For the silencer, just simply attach it to the muzzle and it just fit in place. And now this is the sling and we will attach it to the sling mounts. This is the rear side which you can flip and the front side. Now I will demonstrate to you that the safety switch is really working. Now this is the charging handle, same design, a curved design as that of the real firearm and same motion on how to charge it. At first it was hard to pull but it's just because the spring is very powerful. And also this charging handle has a spring inside to keep it in a standing position even after you use it. So yeah, that's it for the unboxing part and an overview of this spring type airsoft. Let's proceed to its performance on the field. The mag release is located here behind the magazine. It's kind of a bulky type, unlike that of the AK. This is the top handle, so you can carry it around using this. Nice color finish on the grip. Kind of grainy, but it's a good thing since it wouldn't look plasticky. Again, the safety switch works just fine. These are the side rails where you can put any laser or flashlight. Now this is how the two flip iron sights would look. To load the magazine, as usual, fill up the BB compartment, open the hatch, then pour as many as you want. Actually, it can hold a lot of BBs, which is a great thing, so that you don't have to reload manually, which is time wasting. Then once you're ready, just pull the slide down and do like the pouring motion until the BBs will fill the magazine. When putting it back though to the gun, try to push the uppermost PB back down so it wouldn't get caught when you pull the magazine back which could cause some problems if it were still protruding. 
here, just push the PB down. First, let's talk about the charging handle performance. So it is supported by a metal base to withstand the pressure from the spring. But one thing though is that the bolt is kind of gets loose from time to time after repeated charging. So just push it back and make sure it won't get loose. Make sure to hold it the proper way because of the strong spring or else your hand would slip and we don't want that to happen. It doesn't really shoot straight, actually it kind of diverts a bit to the left as you can see here. Too bad that it would have been great if it aligned with the iron sights but sadly it doesn't. This probably has a problem with the barrel so you just can upgrade it to a metal one because I guess it's the one that makes this not shoot straight. For its FPS, it sort of could deal some damage to our cardboard which in turn means this FPS is kinda up there. I have no chrono but I'm not really sure about the actual FPS. From this look though of this cardboard, I can best estimate it's about 180. Other parts doesn't really have any malfunctions, it's all working just fine. From the mag release, safety switch, silencer and side rails as well. Hopefully it would last long. The magazine when put back in the gun just locks perfectly, doesn't feel loose or anything. The 
The scale ratio of the Springer to the real one is almost 1 is to 1. It almost looks identical to the real QBZ, not bad for a Springer like this one. It doesn't look plasticky due to the great glossy paint finish on this gun. They really did a great job in recreating this replica that the design features are also in the Springer. This easily would be one of the best Springers I found on Shopee. This is just a thing of beauty, not bad for a bullpup rifle. As a recap, I mentioned earlier, keep an eye on the ball, the proper way of charging the handle, and watch the magazine if there's an extra BB on top, just push it down before putting it back on the gun. Now, I have to say, I would definitely recommend this one to you guys. As always, wear eye protection all the time when playing, don't point at humans or animals, and use it responsibly. That wraps our review, product link is in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out.